Hey Mike, I'm Jake with Camping World here in Boise. We're standing in front of the Sunseeker that you inquired about. This is a really nice unit. Uh, it's in excellent shape. I'll kind of walk you around the outside as well as the inside. And uh, I hope you like it. One of the questions that you asked was about the tires. Um, the tires on this one are in excellent shape. Uh, they look to be replaced um, not too long ago. Tread's in excellent shape. The sidewalls look like they're uh, almost new. Usually if we see any, uh, you know, any wear, it's usually in the sidewalls from just baking out in the sun. Uh, got the nice extended mirrors here. As we come back, you got storage underneath here. It's all ABS plastic, so easy to clean out. You have your propane, which is located right here. Batteries are located here on a little slide out tray. Six gallon hot water heater. There's your outside for your furnace. As you can see, it's got the slide toppers on it as well as the nice big awning here um, over the door. <coughs> when you get back here to the back, you got a nice uh, full pass through storage here as well as again ABS plastic here. Nice and easy to keep clean. One of the questions that you asked was, does it have a, a backup camera? The answer to the, excuse me, the answer to that would be no. There's no backup camera on this one. Although, if you wanted to, uh, that's pretty easy to install here at the store. It's got the uh, hitch on the back as well as the seven-way, and it also has a brake controller already in it. So I don't know if you're gonna be pulling um, a trailer behind it or something like that. Uh, you would have brakes to the trailer as well, which is an added bonus. It's got the roof, uh, rack, and ladder. It also has a uh, self-tracking satellite. So as you're cruising down the road, you can watch TV. Outside shower, city water connection here. Here's where all your shore power is located at, right here. On this one, your sewers, all dump is all located right here. As you can see, it's way off the ground. Uh, you'll never have any worries about knocking stuff off there or hitting it. So really, uh, that's a really nice place for that. Got a little more storage here underneath the slide out. As well as uh, generators located right here as well. It's an Onan 4000 Micro Quiet. Uh, top of the line um, generator there. Get on this side, the second slide out here as well has the slide out topper on it. So uh, that way you don't have to rake leaves, or uh, sorry, brush leaves and pine needles and that kind of stuff off. So since you've seen the outside, let's go inside. Hey Mike, Jake here again. Now we're in the inside of the uh, Sunseeker. So here, as we walk in the door, you kind of turn to the left here. This is your kitchen area. Got a nice little flip up counter extension here, as well as uh, two nice big stainless steel sinks. Got a little bit of counter space here with the cover as well. When you lift this up, you have the three burner stove top, and it does have the sparklers on it, so no more losing the hair off your hands as you light the burners. Got a nice uh, oven in here that's never even been used. Microwave, got good storage up in here as well. Good storage there, and then storage all the way across here as well. As you, if you, when you come in, if you turn to the right, you have a nice little couch here. So this will make down into a bed like that as well. You also got a little bit of storage under here. There's two C belts on this side as well. This is a nice little bunk area up here. Looks like you've got some uh, window coverings as well. This folds up, so if you're driving and you want a little more air here, you can have that as well. Uh, you got the TV with a built-in uh, DVD player in it, as well as when you open up this uh, cupboard here, water filter, as well as this is where your uh, the on-off switch is for your WineGuard uh, satellite. This is actually a road trip SDI in motion satellite system. That's the model is the SDI. Over here you have the booth dinette. You'll have a drawer on this side, a little drawer on this side as well. This one has the dream dinette, so it's really easy to push this one up and down to make it into a bed. Got a little lock underneath here. 
but that'll make down into a bed as well. You also have storage over here. Got storage over uh, the slide out as well. This is a nice big deep slide out. I mean, that's probably almost two feet back in there. So lots of storage, a place to put all your goodies and stuff when you go camping. Nice uh, raised panel fridge here. Six cubic foot fridge, plenty of room for all your stuff. It's a Dometic, which is nice. It's fully adjustable, so if you want it warmer or colder, you can adjust it there as well. You also have another little storage uh, here for pots and pans. As you come over here, got more storage here. This is your control panel here for everything, uh, all your tank levels as well as slide outs, water heater, generator start, all that's located right here. The other thing too is I've noticed as we've been walking around here is you have a nice uh, Creative Breeze vent fans both in here and up there. Um, they're very powerful. They, they uh, move a lot of air. As we come up here into the bathroom area, you have a uh, toilet here, nice uh, shower. I'm six foot, um, not a real small guy, but I could shower in here pretty easily. Again, more storage. Got more storage here underneath the uh, kitchen sink, as well as here to the side, and then uh, here in the medicine cabinet as well. As we come into the bedroom area, this is where the uh, second slide out is located. It's a nice walk around bed, easy to get around, easy to make. You got uh, windows on both sides of the bed, so that'll create a good cross breeze, as well as you know, a window here. This is a nice hanging storage uh, closet here for nice, nice tall stuff, as well as um, storage here as well. Then you got uh, cedar lined drawers back here, which is pretty nice. Nice little area here um, for odds and ends. Has a second uh, TV hookup here. If you want to put a second TV back here, you can. So, uh, also has a second air conditioner. You got the air conditioner up front, as well as the air conditioner back here. So, dual ACs. Um, I hope you like this, Mike. Let me know. Uh, give me a call back. I hope this, this works a little better than pictures sometimes. So, uh, one other thing I wanted to show you is right up here. Where you're coming all the way from Wyoming, I, I try to show you maybe any irregulars or damage or anything like that. Um, this particular slide out here uses two big uh, slide out rams, which uh, use a little bit heavier um, duty uh, framework, I guess. But as you walk right here, it may be a little hard to see on the, on the, uh, on the camera, but there's a, a little bump, just hopefully maybe you can see that with my hand, but maybe about an eighth of an inch up right here where you can see this beam that runs across here. That's for the slide out mechanism to run this in and out. So uh, as I look over anything, that's really the only irregular thing that I can see or damage or any of that kind of stuff. So uh, I just like to be a little open uh, where you're coming from all the way from Jackson. Uh, that wouldn't bother me at all, but I just like to uh, kind of get that out there before you come. So I look forward to talking to you, Mike. Talk to me. Talk, uh, give me a call soon. Thank you.